Hey guys, Shadow here, back with part 2 of Need for Speed Underground 2. And we're just about to choose our car. Now, the stats on all of these things are pretty crap. I mean, the only one with any top speed is the one that I'm going to pick, being Nissan 240. It's I just chose it because it's the only one with a pixel of top speed. All the others have absolutely nothing. And also, it's got pop-up headlights, and they're just awesome. Look at those things. Alright, now that you got yourself a set of wheels, head over to my garage. Don't bother looking for races, because there's nothing going on. Don't keep me waiting again. See you there. Right, let's go to the garage to make random races pop up for no apparent reason. Don't know why everyone starts racing as soon as I get to the garage. Garage is a pretty pointless place, really. I mean, it lets you save, but it auto saves every five seconds anyway, which is very annoying, by the way. And my mouse is deciding to have a fit in the right hand side of the screen. Um, sorry about that, I'm not quite sure what it's doing. Uh, yeah. This is pre-recorded, so I do notice this in a minute, I think. Like, as soon as I get in the garage, I might notice it. Oh my god, my mouse is so annoying. What's it doing? Oh, it's making its way to the middle. Yo, here we are. Skip the pointless cutscene and get out of here. You can lay out all your... Let's go do some races. Whoa. I think I'm trying to sort hey, out the, the mouse at this I point. I to mention that there's a lot of action in the city tonight. I've uploaded the race locations into your map. Go out there That's and start it. making a name for yourself. Whoops. Distracted driving. Right, let's get some racing underway, finally, with our own car. Right, street acts first. These races are pretty intense, they're really close. And you're all tightly packed into a tiny race track, so they can be pretty fun. But near the start, it's just a matter of seeing how many opponents you can lap, really. Look at, what are they doing? They're just driving into walls on their own. Wow. Thank God the AI gets better as the game goes on. Jesus. And that is our first opponent. <laughs> oh, so close. Almost lapped. God, it's only three laps. This race is like under a minute long. Whoa. Why is it going pixel? I hope that's not in the final video. If it is, sorry about that, guys. Wait. I'll fix that. Damn fraps. And there we go, just about lap that guy. Yeah, 50 second long race. Really? <laughs> wow. Hey man, nice race back yeah, there. Yeah, go away. But you know what they say, Stop messaging winning me. ain't everything. Total annihilation is what you're going for. The bigger the gap between you and your opponent, the more rep you get. So maximize out there. Hey Matt, if you haven't already heard, I'm in the know when it comes to all the tuner gear coming and going in Bayview. If a shop's got something prime and worth looking at, I'll hit you on your SMS and let you in on it. The stuff usually goes fast. No, not so more SMS spam. Seriously, they me messaged yet. me enough. Hey, yo, man. Street Ugh. Right, and let's get underway with a drag. Near the start of the game they're pretty easy, but they can get really annoying when your car shifts so quick. Because as you get the more performance upgrades and the nitrous, you just glam through the first gears. And you really have to have some pretty good reactions for it.
Whoa, more pixelation. Jesus. How can this thing go 123? 125? Can we get it to 130? No. I... Why does it fishtail? It's a drag... I don't even have control of the steering and it still fishtails. <laughs> I can't even correct it, that's just unfair. Right, I think we'll go to another race, I'm not sure what I did. Aside donuts. Yeah, I think I do another race. At the start of the game you really need to build up money because it doesn't give you a whole lot until you start doing the sponsor races and that's when the money really starts coming. But at the start you've just got to save up for those performance parts really. Another thing I do like about this game is the music. Really good. I think Underground 1 had better music. But this game's still good. Like, as you go through the need for speeds, the music gets worse. Right, another sprint with tons of really sharp corners. Yay! Well, that was close. If you don't know where you're going on this bit, you can get really confused. The number of times I've smashed into the last ball just here is ridiculous, because you just don't know it's there. I used to do it like every race. But now I've completed the game a couple of times, I'm starting to get the hang of it. A bit late, I know, but hang on. But late than never. This car's actually not bad. It says it's got absolutely tragic acceleration, but it doesn't seem to be bogging down too much around the corners. Wow, we are really thrashing these guys. Just thought I'd look at the pop-up headlights. It's not like there was anyone behind me to watch. And there we go. That's another win. Beat by eight seconds though. They weren't too bad for the early races. Can't wait for this game to actually get started and give me difficult races. Right. Circuit. graphics are actually alright. I mean, 2004. It's pretty surprising. One thing I do think, though, is the roads are way too shiny. It's like it's permanently just been raining. Bit weird. Whoa. That was a bit too close. But yeah, next episode onwards, I will be doing live commentary, hopefully, and that will be much more fun and easier to record as well. Even if Fraps does spam me with 20 gigabyte files. 
that. He got in my way. Laps left. This is another pretty short track, really. But I seem to be beating them by even more than on the sprint. What are they doing? Just like ploughing into other cars for the fun of it? I'm still in debate whether it's better to drift around the corners with the handbrake or slow down for them. I tend to be slowing down for them at the moment because I've just been playing way too much Forza. But I I don't know. I don't know what's faster. That was a bit close. Okay, and they're now even further behind me. Last lap. As long as I don't crash horrifically like six times, I should be okay. Some of the races are pretty handy as well because they show you where those body shops and other shops are. You just need to kind of remember where they are on the map and then you can find them easier. I think that's how I found them the first time around. I like this song. But yeah, I might have a problem with this series because I forgot where all the shops are. So it might take me a little while to hunt for them. But Oh well, don't want it to be too easy, I guess. I remember where, like, one of each of them is. And I can always look it up if needs be, but I'll try not to. Ooh, we've unlocked exhaust tips. I'll check that out next episode. I think at this moment I'm trying to work out where the body shop is. I think I'm going to go put some bumpers on this thing. Make it look a bit more respectable. Mind you, it's not too bad looking for a first car. Especially with the pop-up headlights. I am not going to change the pop-up headlights. Keep in that. Unless you want your ride to look like your mom's, then this is the place for you. All your visual upgrades are here. Fenders, spoilers, side skirts, and more. I like the bumpers to be smooth, really, so I think I go with Ace for most of them, if not all of them. For now, anyway. I'll change them when we unlock some better stuff, but most of them just look ugly, especially on this car. They're way too low. That looks pretty nice. I don't know why I even look at those. I am not changing from pop-up headlights. Hmm, tail lights. Don't know. I don't know what ones are better. The standard ones match pretty well, but... Okay, and there goes the game. It just crashed on me because the mods are so awesome. Um, I'll see you next episode guys, it will be a live commentary and let's just hope it doesn't crash. Uh, thanks for watching, leave a like and I'll see you later.